Developments tonight in a story WUSA 9 has been following for a couple of years now. A DC condo building crumbling, the residents forced out, some of them sued. And tonight a DC Court of Appeals has ruled that the district should be held responsible for those unsafe living conditions. Our Lionel Donovan is talking with a former tenant and the lawyer trying to get them justice. Robin McKinney still remembers the day she held the keys to her new home on Talbert Street. I went to closing on December the 4th, 2017. I was very excited. McKinney says she couldn't wait to start the new year as a homeowner, but she soon noticed problems. I uh, bought then with the electricity, the electrical problem, and months later, the other problems. Like, um, I'm going to say once the spray hit, I started using my um, AC and that clocked out. After speaking with some of her neighbors, McKinney realized that they were all having the same issues, and those issues would only get worse. The building is moving both uh, ver horizontally and vertically. Fast forward to today, and the complex sits almost empty and falling apart. This is brick. This is concrete. Like this isn't this isn't drywall, <laughs> right? Like this is uh, amazing in terms of, of those, and, and and you'll see. Initially, the, the cracks that we saw were really just in this corner, right, separating this unit, right, because it's a corner. But now you look, you, you, have, you have cracks here. And here. And here. And the pressure of the building, right, is, 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 is curving it. LaRuby May filed a lawsuit on behalf of McKinney and five other home buyers against the developers, Stanton View and DC holding them responsible for the unit's unsafe living conditions. Although the case was initially dismissed, today DC's Court of Appeals reversed that decision, deciding that the district acted as a merchant through its housing purchase assistance program. The district had its hand in this property and the selection of these homeowners from the very beginning. And, and the only time the district wanted to take their hands away is when it started having problems and then it wanted to say, oh, not not our problem. DC has provided some residents with housing vouchers and relocation assistance. I reached out to ask about the appeal, but the district was unavailable for comment. Now McKinney is hoping to find some way to hold on to her dream. This was home to me. This was retirement. This was generational wealth, equity for my children and I. With this appeal, the case goes back to DC Superior Court, but May tells me the clock is ticking for her clients, many of whom only have about six months left on their housing vouchers. After that, they may be on their own. From Southeast DC, Lionel Donovan, WUSA 9.